Look at the size of that sponsor. It's really big. Just relax. Everything's totally serene. You're floating through a cloud. The sun is warm on your f The end is nigh. Shit! A prophecy has been foretold. Well, that's not good. The rapture is coming. Okay. And we have the specific date. Thank God. Soon the believers will rise and the impure will be left below. It's the fucking so rapture. Repent, sinner. Repent. Get your affairs in order. Take your preparation H. That's preparation for heaven. Because the okay. world will officially end. When? On May 21st, 2011. What? Wait, what? Are we already dead? May 21, there's going to be a terrific earthquake. Way, way, uh, are, way are we already dead? Than anything that the earth has ever experienced. And that'll be the beginning of Judgment Day. Oh my god. I bet he thinks Fortnite causes violence too. Well, I don't think he knows what Fortnite is. In late 2010, a campaign was launched to save some souls. That's good. They suited Thank up. Thank you. Took to the streets. But it was more than just placards and flyers. Okay. Soon they were joined by a caravan of five RVs roaming the country, spreading the good word about the rapture. Thousands of people took it what seriously. What the fuck? Many began selling their possessions. They were maxing out credit cards. Smart. Taken on debt. Very Even smart. Even the news picked up on it. The end is near. I feel like if you, I feel like if you go into debt because of some crazy person that tells you the world, world is going to end. That's like a stupid tax. The dumber you are, the more you pay. Advertising was put on bus stops, in subways. A big expensive billboard was put up. Oh then my another. god. Then another. Then 5,000 more. What in the fact, fuck? This quickly became the most expensive single event advertising campaign ever, totaling over $100 million just to tell people about a rapture on May 21st, 2011. Wait, what? How the heck did this happen? What the fuck? Harold Camping. Who is this dipshit? Please so who is this hardcore harvester. gangster rapturist, Harold Camping? He was one of the biggest figures in Christian media. Okay. He had a show, Open Forum, hosted by his company, Family Radio. In 2010, it was a media empire worth over $70 million. His what message went fuck? out on over 200 radio stations across the I United love Jesus States now. and many more around the world. Holy His shit! Millions. And when he says the world will end, wow. a decent-sized contingent believed it. Now, hold on. I can see Any the comment section movies. filling up with edgy yeah. atheists and skeptics already. Uh -huh. Listen, at first I also didn't believe Mr. Camping. I get it. Yeah. There have been many people to predict the rapture before and get it yes. wrong. Just but a wait. few examples. Give him a chance. I looked at all the scientific data I could find. <laughs> I like bet you did. 14 dating or potassium argon dating. This time, it's different. Okay. Camping is coming at you with irrefutable evidence of the rapture. Makes because sense. Because he's using math. This is not just a bit. This is actually how he calculated the rapture. Okay. So, Jesus died on April 1st, 33 AD. Now take the year 2011. That's a difference of 1,978. We times that right. by 365.2422, and that gives you the number of days it's been since that, including leap years. Okay. That equals 722,449. What? Now keep that number in mind. Keep it in your head. Wait, what? Atonement. Now that's five. Completeness. That's ten. And heaven is 17. Now we times them uh... all together, and look at this. 850. Then we square uh, that. And that's 722,500. A difference of 51. Right? Yeah, 51 of course. 51 days. Yes. Plus April 1st, 2011. Uh-huh. Equals May 21st, 2011. What? 
You did it, Mr. Camping. You've cracked the code. And needless to say, his skeptics were left destroyed by facts and logic. Oh. Even the ones who pointed out that he predicted the rapture once before in I... 1994 in a Louis Thoreau documentary. Yeah, 1994 okay. will be the last day of the final tribulation period. But shut up, shut up. He's got more to say than just the date. All right. My boy is about to tell you how the whole thing is going to go down. Okay, let's find out. So God's going to snatch up all the good boys. About 200 million of us. That's good. Everyone else? Pets? Even the cute ones. Sorry, dudes. You're getting left behind. Then it's Wait, why? Exactly. On Christmas Island, leave the earthquakes dog? are going to start dootling all over the place, rolling their way across the earth, taking out almost everyone at exactly 6 p.m. according to their time zone. Those earthquakes will then trigger gigantic 6 p.m. Time tsunamis, to die. 10 kilometers tall and go as far inland as Colorado. <laughs> That's Every soul not good. behind will be forever dumb. I don't want to watch Eventually to Stop. go straight Stop. Don't even down show that. Okay. Yeah, I, d I don't even want to see that. Now, let's not go lumping everyone in. Most Christian groups did not believe in Harold Camping's teachings. In fact, most Christian Fools. groups don't believe in predicting the rapture at all. Fools. And even consider it a sin. Yeah. Matthew 24, 36 specifically says that no man can know the day or the hour. So to try and guess at it would be to go against scripture. Mm. Accordingly, okay. Protestant and Catholic groups denounced Mr. Camping's claims. May 21st, he's a follower of Harold Camping. The scriptures do not teach that. No man knows the day or the hour. In fact, wow. even Camping's own producer at Family Radio said... That's a good argument, you know, whenever someone pulls out like, yeah, so the book that you think everything happens out of says that your guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Wow. Hey, May 2011, it's going to happen, guys. Wow. It was a bad idea. But that didn't stop Mr. Camping. No. He saw the big churches as corrupt anyway. So he ignored them and continued yep. charging forward with his prediction. There's just no a reason in the world, no possibility that it will not happen. Wow. And so did his followers. That's good. 97% of the people God will destroy. Oh, shit. Do you think this thing is getting blown up too much in the media and elsewhere? How do you know it's next to a psychic Before we building? Go on, two important details. Okay. And one, Family Radio receives most of its funding through donations, bequeathments, ads, merchandise, and sponsors, but mostly just donations. Two, Family Radio was established in 1959, camping as the owner and CEO, but there are two other chairmen on board to keep him in check. Okay. Or at least there were. Unfortunately, in recent years, those other chairmen were getting quite old and sick and having a tougher and tougher time telling camping no <laughs> to poor decision making. So by 2010, okay. camping effectively had free reign over he the company. He is the Senate. Free reign over its messaging. Uh-huh free reign over its audience yep and free reign over the spending and he started spending like well like the world was going to end i wonder why the media soon picked up on the ubiquitous advertising this makes sense you know like we should do a thing where we convince everybody that the world is going to end so that they just donate me all their money because like might as well do that i mean what else are you going to do you know one final good thing before you get sent to god and be like well you know what god uh what is it effing just a second uh okay i think that we're good now we just had a little bit of a hiccup uh let's see yeah that's just a small hiccup i'm not really going to worry about that yeah, no, that, that's the good idea that I have. Uh, so here's what we'll do, right? Is I will convince everybody that... I actually think that it's a good idea. Um, ooh. Uh, good name. There you go. All right. Uh, let's see. Do we have anybody else? Come on. I, I, I need to get more people for this fucking thing. Uh, is somebody please invite me. Zach on Kel'Thuzad over to... Oh, the, the rare's up now. Okay, I'm going to kill it. And the words I'll make a religion. Further. This, in turn, encouraged more advertising, and in turn, more media interest. Uh -huh. So things were snowballing. By early May, everyone was talking about the rapture. 
The yeah, search I bet they were. End of the World May 21st was number two on Google search, followed by Harold Camping, May 21st Doomsday, and May 21 Rapture. Holy also in the top shit! 10. The traffic online was so substantial it even caused family number radio one was servers boobs. to crash. Soon, it became a bit of a meme. And the internet did what it does best. On May 19th, Operation yeah. Rapture was conceived. Okay, lads. We wake up early on May 21st what the and fuck? throw clothes into the street. It's going to look <laughs> like a bunch of people were teleported to the afterlife. And hopefully, some of them are going to freak out. Well, they had a pretty good turnout. That's actually that really good. It doesn't seem like anyone fell for it. Yeah, I wonder why. it seems like no one showed up for the pre-rapture orgy organized on Facebook either. Although maybe that's because the location was a bit vague. But at least they'll know where to go in Area 51. It was an event organized by the Phenomenauts. They got people together in the middle of town and filled a bunch of sex dolls with helium and attached them to balloons. Oh, to that's a good idea. into the heavens. <laughs> that's a great idea. It was a beautiful moment. And it made a lot of us reflect. Wow! I'm a better person! <laughs> Yoink. People also tried to make some cash off the situation. Okay. They offered to buy camping's followers' stuff on Craigslist for pennies on the dollar. Offering to buy on Craigslist raptured people's possessions. Bro, that would be me, dude, 100%. 100000 I should have done that. That's smart. In 1999. That's real smart. But one startup did do quite well. Dog sit for those called up to heaven. Based around taking other people's pets in the event of a rapture. Wait, what? And I believe they still operate today. No way, dude. No way. Let me go after the rapture pet care. No fucking way, dude. No fucking way. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel Trump, of God and the, in, the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive remain shall caught together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And then we will forever be with the Lord. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the actual video, guys. Sorry, I, I, that was a bit of a, uh, of a tangent. I believe they still operate today. So up next, we'll show you what happened on May 21st and what happened to all those people who truly believed. So they got raptured. They're gone but now. first... My rhymes are fly, my beats are sick, my crew is big and it keeps getting bigger. That's because Jesus Christ... I know a couple of things that rhyme with bigger. I'm going to just skip ahead right here. Oh my god, it's Jesus. What yeah. are you doing here? Well, okay. I just wanted to tell you that me and God have seen your Google search history and were very disappointed. Oh no. That's okay. right, and now you're not getting into heaven or the more exclusive version, Super Heaven, which features a delicious seafood buffet. Super oh, Heaven? Oh no. What the fuck? Yup. Oh, how that must I be wish DLC. I had taken the time to hide my internet viewing habits. Well, okay. you didn't, and now you're doomed five ever. Oh, fuck. Has this ever happened to you? Go to NordVPN.com slash Internet Historian to keep your website traffic anonymous. All looks wholesome to me. Plus, oh, it also oh, what? Oh, hey, look. It's the UK's exclusive channels. Oh my and god. And you didn't even pay a telly license. What the oi, oi, fuck stop is... That. That'll be 52 pounds, nine thruppence. Too late, copper. I've brexited to Australia now, a place where no law can touch me. How much would you pay for this service? A okay. billion dollars? Yes. Literally gazillions? Absolutely. Not today. Get 75% off three-year plan oh, at nordvpn.com slash internet historian and okay. use code internet historian to get a free extra month, That's which that. includes unlimited data, ultra-fast speeds, region unlocking in all Fast these places. Fuck, boy. Also, a map of the world, which is useful for things such as geography. Wow, that's actually that's very useful. so good. I might even get code Internet Historian NordVPN myself. That's how good it is. Yes, even Jesus, Jesus uses it. I think it. that would be a good idea. 
ha 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 over okay before we go on with mr camping i want to okay. point out two other predictions okay in 1806 mary bateman also predicted doomsday bateman through a chicken it what? was dubbed the prophet hen of leeds because it started laying what? eggs with the message christ is coming marked onto them amazing and it all appeared legit locals saw the hen lay eggs with the message already written onto them can't fake that oh my god people said and many more oh flocked to the area to pray oh my god well on inspection of the eggs it was soon figured out what was, was it going with sharpie on. mary bateman had used a corrosive substance to etch into the egg and then a couple of minutes before everyone would gather around to watch the chicken lay mary would oh dear <laughs> Come on, come on, man. it's not funny. <laughs> she was an interesting character, though. Claimed to be a That's witch. That's beautiful. Poisoned a couple that same year with a deadly Truly pudding. Truly beautiful. She was later tried and hanged in 1809. Wow. Strips of skin from her corpse were tanned and sold as magic charms to ward off evil spirits. What the fuck am I reading? What the fuck? Also, That's shout good. out to 2012. Remember yeah. that one? As December 21st, 2012 marks the end of I the world. I watched that movie back well, in the day. Well, we came because it's the end of the world tomorrow, and we thought we'd better pop in here because apparently this place will be saved. With accents like those, you would hope they'd be the first to go come the apocalypse. Okay, True. Okay, let's get on with it. I'm surprised they said let's that on the news. Let's take a closer look at some of the people who followed camping. Take Robert Fitzpatrick, 60 former government employee. Okay. I had plans after I retired, but uh, I put them all aside. I, I feel as if I've been drafted. He took almost all of his life savings, $140,000, uh -huh. to have 3,000 posters put up in New York City subways and bus stops. I'm not going to tell you I'm down to my last penny, but you know, it's a good chunk of what I had saved up, sure. Does it matter if you're down to your last penny if the doomsday is coming? No, it doesn't. And he's not the only one. According to the LA Times, the Bauer family hopped in their minivan and drove across the country to see all of the big landmarks before it was too late, racking up thousands of dollars in credit card debt in the process. They really believed they were going to die. Worse still, the Ramsey family. The father quit his job. So did his mum. His younger brother quit high school. I... And his wife Marcia thought she was never going to meet her unborn child. Oh my god. Some of these people's lives got pretty fucked up. How can you be that stupid? I, I mean, really, how can you be that fucking stupid? I mean, I don't understand it. How, you've got to be a fucking moron. Like, so many stupid people. It, it's just like, it got debated so hard. It's like, I almost, I feel sorry for them in a way, but... I genuinely feel sorry for them because they were born so fucking dumb. Like, how, how can you be that fucking stupid, man? Like, oh my god. Like, wh what do you even do about that? That's religion for you? I don't even know. They got Japan out of their life savings. Like, it's so terrible, but it's, it, it's, it's just, wow. The day is here. It's rapture time. Oh. Here we go. Oh, Lord, oh I'm ready. I'm going to do alarm. it. I'm going to do a rapture. Watch me, guys. Mr. Camping spent the day at home in quiet solace and contemplation. Yeah. Waiting for 6 p.m. But that's not what Mr. Fitzpatrick did. What? A confident Fitzpatrick marched into the middle of Times Square amongst a crowd of mocking bystanders, ready to prove everyone wrong. What? In three minutes, if it does not happen, what will that mean? I wouldn't entertain that question. You're confident. <laughs> you won't have to. Just wait five minutes. Here it comes. Three, <laughs> two, one. Uh-oh. Nothing happened. It's six o'clock! What's going on? <laughs> And then 601. He's looking at his fucking watch! 602. Oh, uh, reading the Bible again? Fitzpatrick's convictions turned to confusion. Uh, and it's pretty hard not to feel sorry for him. Look at the whole fucking thing! <laughs> I didn't water my plants. I didn't do the dishes before I left. I didn't expect to be going back home. 
but it looks like I will be going back home. But it look, sure does. Just so we're clear, we're all still alive and the rapture didn't happen. Maybe. Camping was not in the same celebratory mood. I'm so... Imagine all the people that go out there, because everybody knows this shit wasn't gonna happen, right? But this fucking dumbass is so sure about it, everybody is crowded around him, just waiting, be like, Hey, hey dummy, where's the rapture, man? What happened to the rapture? And you know that they just want this fucking dipshit to eat it, man. I, I don't know, I think it's just so funny. Just like the, the, the fucking, his face, man, his, he doesn't know, yeah, bullies? Well, whenever you're a stupid asshole trying to make everybody else afraid because of your weird fucking agenda, then yeah, you, I don't care if you're bullied a little bit for that because it's what you get. I don't want to be a fucking stupid asshole doing that kind of stuff, telling everybody the world's gonna end. No, some people that it's... There's a certain degree where you'd fucking deserve it. Lost over $100,000 and see... <laughs> yeah, what's worse? The most the worst humiliating moment of his life, or him spending all of his life savings. <laughs> Jesus, like, it, okay, all right, let's go with the rest of this. Ready to shoot myself or go on a booze trip. The next day was a Sunday. Yeah. People were crushed, confused, yeah. looking for answers. Yeah, I they bet showed they up were. At camping's church, expecting to. See. Look at that fucking face, dude. I want to go back to this face. Confused, looking for answers. They showed up at camping's. That dude, like, look at that. Look at that dude's face, man. That's somebody that just got played again. It just happened again. It just got played again. A big fucking idiot. Somebody invite me up to a group of the Ragnar Harvester up. Church expecting to see him. But yeah. someone else was holding the congregation. Instead, camping spent the day... Wait, Harold didn't house. even show Give up? No, no interviews at all. Today. But I'm wondering how you feel today about the, uh, your prediction. Yeah? Well, I'm bewildered. I'm very bewildered, and that's all I can say right now. On Monday, he appeared on his program. Yeah? He didn't even show but up, this dude. this time, no open forum. But what he did have was a whole bunch of rationalizations. In fact, your boy was doubling down with another prediction. What? October 21st, 2011. <laughs> and uh, this is it. This is it. I mean, hey, I mean, here's the thing, man. Is it, if it happens the first time, I mean, I don't think it's a troll. Like, genuine, like, these people, I mean, this is, like, what do you really think? He spent 50 years in this, like, Christian radio thing, and it, it, just to make this one elaborate troll for, like, the end of his career? I don't think so, dude. I think this is actually just a big fucking dumb, he makes money off of this? You're right, because people are probably going to donate more money to the church if they think that they're going to get raptured. Like, you're totally right. He's making money, yeah. And it will continue right up until uh, uh, October 21, 2011. There it and is. And at that time, the whole world will be destroyed. <laughs> now, now, I know what you're going to say. And okay, maybe yeah. you got it slightly wrong. But this time, he has irrefutable proof of the rapture. Yeah, you can't get it wrong twice. Using math. Okay. Again. So camping took May 21st. Then he looked in the book of John, which states okay. they caught 153 fish. So add 153 days uh -huh. to May 21st, making the new rapture October 21st. Wait, that wasn't even, they didn't even try. That was, that the first one, he had like eight different fucking cop, like, like, computations going in together. Like, this is like, oh yeah, well, we're gonna add some fish to it, and it's the, now it's the new day now. I, I mean, come on. Legit use of math, yeah. How can you argue? It's flawless. True. Yes, Mr. Camping. Add the fish number. <laughs> You've got it this time. On Tuesday, he opened the phones on his radio show. Oh my god. And it was the first time that his show was ever exciting to watch. I bet. Uh, why didn't the rapture happen on May 21st? Don't cut me off yet. 
And why do you believe so much on it's going to happen another five months? Yeah, good question. You're, you're really pathetic. You know, I wasted all my money, and I sent it to you, and I, and I don't have nothing. I was putting my hopes in you. That's a laugh right there. You understand? I, I, I wish I could see you face to face. I'd smack you right in the... See, like, as soon as she said, we'll, we'll go back, we'll watch... Well, listen, look at his expression on his face whenever she says that she gave him his her money. That's what see. That's whenever he gets happy. After it happened on May twenty first, don't cut me off yet. Well, watch his face. Why do you believe so much on it's gonna happen another five months? You're, you're Here we go. Watch his face. Really pathetic, you know. I wasted all my money, and I sent it to you, and I, and I don't have nothing. I was putting <laughs> right there, dude. See, as soon as he hears that, he's like, <laughs> got him. <laughs> My hopes in you. Yep. You understand? I, I, I wish I could see you face to face. I'd smack you right in the. What say you now? Calling names doesn't help anything. After that, yeah. viewership steadily declined. Now, after his I prediction for why. October 21st, the media asked him, Am I on cocaine? No. <laughs> they asked him, Will you dissolve the company in October? Yeah. His response? I am not the CEO. I'm a servant of God working here, and God is the CEO. We look to him all the time. He has a... Oh, my God, dude. I really... I really should... I should do one of these. You know, I, I feel like... I feel like maybe that's my, my true calling in life, is to... Uh, create a religious corporation because like i mean you have to have like i mean the shamelessness of it is something that like, i mean this is that's truly a gift from god to be that shameless like and, and like honestly like the fact that somebody can like that can exist it, it has to be god you know yeah the asman church of asman no no you just do it for jesus right i mean thinking of all your own stuff like uh you know who is the guy l ron hubbard it's too much work, okay? I'll just take the usual shit and just say that if you give me money, then God will give you money, right? Just simple. Gospel of prosperity. There's no reason. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. A thousand ways of getting me out of here. We have to leave that question with the Lord, not with you or with me. That's not our business. That's God's business. And how prescient. Right. Because two weeks later, he had a stroke. I do hope he gets the message. But he didn't. A month later, he was back to doing his show. Hey. And he pressed on with his new prediction. God's plan. By October 16th, though, he came to his senses. Okay. He admitted that no man could know exactly when the rapture would happen and made no statement when October 21st came and went. Finally, on November 1st, he retired from his leadership position at Family Radio. Just under two years later, he was dead. The result of complications from a fall at his home. Yeah, well, it wasn't me, it was him. Look at him. Well, I, ho I hope that he did resign after he realized how fucking dumb he was, right? I mean, because I, I guess it must be kind of bad. Like, let's, let's be a little bit, uh, a little bit, what, what's the word where you're not an asshole? Jeez, oh, I don't even know what that word is. Compassionate. Yeah, a little bit compassionate here. Um, it's like you spend your whole life and you're so sure of something, and then you're wrong about it, and you realize how fucking stupid you are, like, yeah, I'd be a little bit embarrassed, right? It, it kind of sucks. I, I could imagine getting that old and thinking that would probably be really kind of... It'd be fucking depressing, dude. Like, let's be honest, it'd be really fucking depressing. Get him. But look, I don't want to be too harsh. Okay. He was a flawed man. Yeah. He messed up some people's lives. Yep. But in the end, he confessed his mistakes too. Yep. I was totally convinced, totally convicted of it, but I was wrong. I was wrong. I have sinned. Wow. I think he truly believed the rapture was coming. Wow. This wasn't okay. one big grift. And everyone just kind of got swept up in the excitement of it all. So let's put a bow on it with what happened to Family Radio.
Wow. During the rapture campaign, family... We all make mistakes. Some people accidentally, uh, you know, spill their drink. Other people drop their ice cream. And some people create a global conspiracy that there's going to be a rapture that ends up ruining hundreds and maybe even thousands of people's lives. I mean, hey, everybody makes mistakes, guys. That's the way it goes. I mean, <laughs> that's life. Radio raised a lot of money, but not as much as they spent. As well as draining yeah. their funds, they sold off important radio stations to pay for a lot of the advertising. Okay. In the process, they greatly tarnished their reputation. Yeah, a little they bit. They were bringing in scores of millions in revenue in 2011, uh -huh. but by 2012, it was down to single-digit millions. Now, this wow. is still a substantial Nothing. amount. But not when you consider their operating costs were twenty-six million dollars per year. They had to cut and some costs. They couldn't rely on donations to make up the windfall because goodwill had dried up. Yeah, I bet. Now, with fewer radio stations and a shrinking reach, they moved to distance themselves from camping and his baggage. Shows from mainstream Christian groups that Harold pronounced as corrupt were brought into the programming schedule. Oh. They announced they would no longer air the teachings of Mr. Camping. Oh. And finally, I deal with the devil. on their website, they removed the archives of Mr. Camping's audio recordings. Okay, I've kind of bummed everyone out, but that's the end of the story. I've got nothing else to say, so... Shit. Here's a whole bunch of weird Baroque and Renaissance paintings. Help me. Fuck. Mom warning me not to fill up before dinner. Me. Well, time to breastfeed again. Put me down. I'm 45 years old. Fuck, dude. That's good. That's all looking good. Okay. God damn it. You're not supposed to look straight at the camera. Fucking idiot. Okay, let's see. So, um... I, okay. So I never believed in the rapture. It seemed like it probably wasn't going to happen. Now I've thought about this before and the reason that I don't believe in it is pretty simple. It's because I've read other things in the Bible and they seem to be, uh, do, their claims seem to be dubious at best. Like the whole living in a fish thing. Guys, I mean, that that seems like, it, it pro you know, that was, like, whenever I was a kid, man, like, they told me he lived in a fish. I'm like, bro, he didn't live in no motherfucking fish. What are you talking about? Like, there's no way. How the fuck are you going to live in a fucking fish? Um, I, I'm, I'm sorry to say, but that's a little bit too much. I was so young, I still thought it was dumb as fuck, man. Um, Rapture 21, yeah. Uh, I'm kind of uh, disappointed that we don't have more uh, end-of-the-world rapture things. I feel like that always makes things a little bit more exciting in life, you know? Every, uh, I don't know, six months or so, it's like Y2K, like all of that kind of stuff, the, you know, Mayan calendar ending, you have this rapture here. You know, the end-of-the-world stuff, it always, you know, it just makes things a little bit more interesting in life, and it's too bad. Watch more of these guys' videos, they're amazing. Yeah, I'll watch more of them later on. I mean, I, I did like the video a lot.